I knew a righteous man that that righteous man, he almost mo wouldn't move from his bed. Like for the last years of his life, he was lying in his bed all of the time. And he was sweating from his effort on connecting, bonding himself to the Creator. And he wouldn't move. And he was just thinking and thinking and thinking about the Creator all of the time. Why? Because he was serving Hashem in Bach in his thoughts. One time that righteous man, he met a huge Admor, the Rab Aaron of Bells, that he was a very huge Admor. He lived <coughs> in the beginning in Bells, and then he, he, in the days of the Holocaust, he moved to, 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 he ran away from the Nazis and he made Aliyah to Eretz Israel. And he lived most of his life in Tel Aviv. And while that he lived over there in Tel Aviv, he met that righteous man. That righteous man's name was Rabbi Yehuda Zev Lebovich. And he met him. And they were talking words of Torah. And that righteous man, Rabbi Yehuda Zev Lebovich, was very wise. He was a very intelligent person. And he said something wise. He said some word of Torah to, to Rav Aaron of Bels. And Rav Aaron of Bels told him, with a brain like you have, you're not allowed to let it rest. You're not allowed to let your mind rest. One day when Rabbi Yudha Zevovich was very old, very sick, very tired, very weak, and he was sweating at nights, like I said, he was thinking high thoughts, very, very high thoughts on, to Hashem in Barach. And he tried with all of his heart to serve Hashem with his powers. And then one of his helpers came to him and told him, look, you're not asleep, you're not going to sleep, and you sweat all night, and you must rest a little bit. Maybe take some pills or something, some, some, some painkillers, something that's going to relax you, some maybe a sleeping pill, something. You, you must let your body rest a little bit. So he said, I'm not allowed to. So his helper asked him, why are you not allowed to? He said, an hour of bells told me that I'm not allowed to. He said, Rav Aaron of Bells passed away 70 years ago. When did you see him? When you were talking about painkillers, what did he tell you? He said that with a brain like mine, I'm not allowed to let it rest. So he took that advice that he's not allowed to go to sleep. And he was working all of his life on not falling asleep. And he was trying to stay awake all of his life. And to take sleeping pills or something like that? Oh no, that was the worst prohibition. Never! I'm not going to go to sleep. So you see what you can do when you're tired? 